Ah yes, the lies we tell ourselves. Like when I told myself I would eventually use my membership card to Planet Fitness. Could still happen. <sighs> Welcome to Deep Thoughts While Gaming. I'm Chris Chappell. And today I'm playing Lies of P. Our tale begins with the dulcet tones of an unknown woman's voice drifting on the wind, seeking Geppetto's creation. Here, within an abandoned and bloodied train car, an unusual puppet is brought to life by the magical power of the Blue Fairy. Is there a reason that a Blue Fairy is awakening this particular puppet? Why is there blood soaking the floors? And where exactly is everyone? The answers are few at the start of this foreboding story, but fate has chosen to not leave you alone with your own machinations for very long. After the discovery of an ornate lantern, inhabited by the talkative cricket Gemini, we bravely begin our dark journey into the once great city of Krat. Inspired by Carlo Collodi's tale of Pinocchio, as well as its countless retelling sense, Lies of Peace sets out to create a broadly different experience of its own for the once wooden boy of questionable morals. While similarities certainly exist, in regards to previous adaptations, the developers at Round 8 Studio have chosen to turn some core elements of the classic tale on their heads, such as seeing the ability to lie as a superpower, uniquely possessed by P, instead of a way to simply extend the reach of his nose. Someone's got a future in politics. This isn't your Disney Pinocchio. This one's got that sexy Orlando Bloom Pirates of the Caribbean chic. Unlike the original puppet, brought to life by the simple love of a grieving father, the game's hero is powered by a substance called Ergo, taken from the Latin Cogito Ergo Sum, I think, therefore I am. This mystical energy is powering the entire city, including its vast population of automated puppets produced by the inventor Geppetto. It's also your upgrade material, and you'll need it, because you'll be dying. A lot. In Lies of P, death can be both swift and brutal, leaving behind all of your ergo at the site of your untimely demise, creating a continuous cycle of struggle, death, and reclamation. While combating the infected humans and twisted creations lurking around every corner, I couldn't help but ask myself, why am I doing this? Why is this fun? Well, as the 19th century philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche said, Man, the bravest animal and most prone to suffer, does not deny suffering as such. He wills it. He even seeks it out, provided he has shown a meaning for it, a purpose of suffering. And that's what keeps us coming back to these souls-like torture sessions. There is purpose to the struggle, the acquisition of power, the sweet taste of finally crushing the king of puppets after dying so many times to that stupid jerk. It's like that other German-speaking philosopher said, what is best in life? To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and hear the lamentations of their women. Souls like Conan the Barbarian game when? But the acquisition of power is a double-edged sword. After all, Geppetto created the puppets to be a source of menial labor that would never turn on their creators. <sighs> To the puppets, you were their final boss. To end the cycle of violence, there's but one solution. More violence! And so you grind and grind and grind. It is this primal human trait to consciously or unconsciously seek out that which forces us to desperately struggle, fueled by the hope of becoming more powerful. As Nietzsche said, Happiness is the feeling that power increases, that resistance is being overcome. Or as the famous American abolitionist Frederick Douglass said, if there is no struggle, there is no progress. As Geppetto's puppet explores the fallen lands, the challenges only continue to grow in frequency and size, which in turn requires an ever-increasing level of skill and strength. From enhancements to P's living shell, to powerful new prosthetic arms, and the acquisition of impressive weaponry, the player must progress or suffer the consequences. With each new enemy becoming more overwhelming throughout the adventure, the malevolent monstrosities begin to inspire a sense of excitement rather than dread. Each death becomes an opportunity 
rather than a defeat. Helping you in your journey is Sophia, the Lies of Peas take on the Blue Fairy. She helps you upgrade your skills. And in Platonic thought, Sophia is the personification of wisdom. But the Greek word Sophia actually has an older meaning, cleverness or skill. And as Lies of P understands, wisdom is the acquisition of skill and power. Perhaps the popularity of the souls-like genre in recent years is due to the inherent human understanding that life, in some way, requires the presence of conflict and loss. The virtual victories obtained through these endless struggles, catalyzed by the harsh realities of human existence, may actually act as a panacea for our own subconscious yearnings for power's acquisition. He really does have a future in politics. Keep watching Deep Thoughts While Gaming. And if you've figured out a way to have Gemini keep his thoughts to himself, be sure to hit that like button. And if not, be sure to hit it anyway in a brutal display of your power.